In 2018, the Vice President, Professor Yemio Shibajo, visited the Apapa Axis to see the problems confronting the nation's premier port. The huge number of trucks on this road has over the years disrupted economic activities at the port. The ugly scenario prompted a directive by President Mohamed Buhari on May the 22nd for the evacuation of all vehicles from the bridges and roads around Apapa. Following the expiration of the ultimatum, which was later extended, Vice President Yabir Shibajo arrives in Lagos and heads to Apapa to assess the implementation of the presidential order. <laughs> He says he's pleased with the level of work done. What I've seen so far, it's been largely satisfactory. I'm, I'm quite pleased with the pace of, of, of work. There are one or two things I would think would require a bit more, uh, maybe a bit more speed. It takes a tour of the area alongside the state governor, officials of the Nigerian Post Authority, and the presidential tax force team. For me, I think that the most important thing is what we're trying to achieve right now, namely improve the infrastructure around the ports area, improve the call-up system so that uh, uh, tankers can go back and forth and so that there is no pressure on, uh, the, on those who are trying to drop their containers and all of that. So there are several things that we're doing, you know, in order to make it easier to use this port and also in order to, for, for the entire trade experience, for the entire import and export experience as well. So we're drilling, uh, dredging the uh, worry ports, you know, we're using barges now and all of that. And also, as you know, the rail link from the ports, which is part of the Lagos uh, Kano Rail uh, link, so the rail link from Apapa all the way to Abutiameta and all the way out will be an important part of the transportation, uh, the, the, trans uh, the transportation system out of the ports. Given the level of progress made here, Nigerians expect that these changes will be permanent through strict compliance with the new rule to ensure a boost to socioeconomic activities in the area.